Now, what's some, some things that are coming up in the future? Oh, wow. Gee, there are always uh, business events coming up in the future. Um, we're going to have another trade fair in November. That seems like a long time off, but uh, we'll be planning for that. Our holiday trade fair, which we have at Early Heights Fire Hall. Um, there again, we're going to have a Business Bites program. We're going to have a successful women in business luncheon uh, this month, uh, an event this month in June. Uh, and then we're going to be teaming with the Northern Anne Arundel County Chamber on a joint women in business luncheon on July the 9th at Carabas Grill. Um, September, as we look toward the end of this summer, we're going to have uh, a lot of events coming up then. It's going to be a real kickoff. Uh, we're very involved in education in our area also. Uh, uh, the Greater Severn Park Chamber started the Business Advisory Board at Severn Park High School, and I, I currently chair that. So we work closely with them. We do a youth leadership conference every year, and over the course of the summer, we'll be planning for that event. Uh, we have all of our schools, elementary, middle school, and high schools teamed together for that, private and public. And uh, we always have a wonderful topic, and we get the kids real involved in the facilitation and planning of that event. And it's actually facilitated by area school seniors, high school seniors. Very good. Uh, so that's a project we'll be working on this summer, too. So we have a lot of things always coming up. Now, this business bites, I heard you say? Did I say business that Business right? bites, a bite of lunch and a bite of information. And, and what's, what's the, uh, the idea behind that? Do everybody talks about their business a little bit? or No, not really. We try to get a good speaker in, and we try to keep things uh, pretty much within an hour, hour and a half max. And while people are having lunch, uh, they have a chance to listen to the program. And uh, we have some regulars who come every, every time, and we have other people who just kind of watch for the topic. And if that topic applies to something they want to learn about or hear more about, they're there. They just register. So, you know, it's important to us to always have good information out there for businesses to be a resource for them. Uh, could be, um, gee, our most recent uh, Women in Business program was on social networking. Real hot topic these days. Um, our next program is going to be on a, um, it's going to be a personal protection workshop so that people can, you know, keep out of trouble and if they do get into trouble, defend themselves and certainly keep your number handy if they get into trouble. And how to keep out of harm's way. Really Absolutely. Focus and, and what to Absolutely. do in case, God forbid, something like that does Absolutely. happen. Absolutely. But um, there again, we have wonderful resources like your department to call on if, if all else fails. And, and that brings me to my next uh, point or maybe question. I see when you're in a, in a, a part of a chamber like this mm -hmm. that you meet people that have businesses that may assist your business. Say, for example, a sign mm -hmm. company. Sure. And you're opening up a new business and you want to get some special signs made up, uh, either for the front of your business or inside, or some printing done that they may also do. So now they have, like you said, a resource that they can go to uh, that's that's part of this, uh, this network. Absolutely, business it's to business. Very good. Absolutely. Now, you got something big coming up. Um, we do. And uh, so we'll, 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 we'll kind of close our very first Chamber, wanted chamber, wanted small business part of uh, of Annarol's most wanted. Let's talk about what you're what you're looking for and uh, coming up. Well, I think you're talking about our Fourth of July parade and festival. Absolutely. And that'll be coming up on Saturday, July the fourth. Um, our parade has been around for quite a while. It's really established in Anne Arundel County, and um, it'll be starting at St. Martin's in the Field Episcopal Church and Our Shepherd Lutheran Church, both on Benfield Road and it will proceed from there over to Cypress Creek Park and we have a festival there. And the festival is uh, populated by uh, exhibitors um, and, and vendors representing not-for-profit organizations. It's a chance for them to raise some money, a chance for them to get their the word about their causes and, uh, and uh, their programs out. So it's a wonderfully well-attended parade. It's there again, it's a nice chance for a business to get involved and have a nice little showcase right there in the community. And there again, we end up over at Cypress Creek Park where we have a festival um, and we have wonderful food and we have lots of activities for kids, family oriented, we have entertainment. Uh, we have a vintage car uh, display over there, which we, we judge and uh, just a great event. I and you, I think that you're gonna be there with us this year. Always as are, always. Always are. Yeah. Uh, Deputy Nicer driving our, uh, our new black and gold uh, sheriff's vehicle. Uh, which we think is really cool looking. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Major Tabor and I will be in the uh, the Batmobile, which uh, I'll be drive, or which I'll be uh, in, and Major Tabor will be driving. And uh, it's a, now we've always guessed how many people are watching oh, that wow. parade because we're driving down Benfield Boulevard, Evergreen, uh, and, and as we as we get close, to, well, we get on Baltimore Apples Boulevard. 
How many people are in that parade? Or how many people are watching that parade, do you guess? Oh, thousands. I mean, I'm I, sure. I'm, I'm I guessing. mean, it's such a long span that it's kind of hard to judge, but the crowd is, is heavy all along the route. Yeah, I've guessed up to, you know, 2,500 you know, people or more. Yeah, I mean, it seems right. like it's so many, and it's really cool because you see the families out there. You know, the husbands, wives, and the, and the, the whole family. The, the kids are out there, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really neat to see. You know, it is the Fourth of July parade, and it, it, people are holding flags, and, and that's all. You know, really, you know, warming to the heart. It but is. just to see the families still watching parades, which it, it's just it's very touching to me, and I like that. And then you get to the end of the parade, and then you're announced. You know, they say who you are, what business you're from, you know, what what agency or organization you belong right to. Right down where you kind of spill onto B and A Boulevard. Exactly. Earl Schaefer is going to be our MC again this year, and he is just great, isn't he? He does a great job. Yeah. Well, Linda, thank you very much for being our first guest and an excellent thank guest you. on our show to kick off this segment. As I.